only two of them decided to go for the Green Labor government and uh, Bob Caddis saw sense in, in sticking with the coalition and, and as somebody that we share a uh, significant uh, constituency, um, I think that that's, that, you know, that's a very positive outcome. Um, I just find it quite bizarre that uh, you know you've got you've got one guy there that's uh, one of the independents is saying that what influenced his decision was Labor's NBN, its concept. That there's a long way to go before they start to uh, to start putting cable on the ground, and even when they do, most of the areas that are going to miss out are regional and remote areas. Most of the Leichhardt electric in the remote areas are going to miss out. Um, so, uh, and the proposal that we'd put up in relation to that actually gave a much broader coverage into a lot of those areas. Um, in some areas it might have meant that you're going to download a movie, instead of doing it in one and a half minutes it might take you three minutes, but uh, nevertheless I think that uh, pe people in the remote areas would have got a better benefit from it. Now, as, as for Oakshot, I mean he seemed to be more focused on uh, giving a, uh, thinking that uh, a couple of words in the Constitution, men, men, uh, mentioning Aboriginals was more important than giving them an economic future or a job. And so uh, in, in making his decision, he's voted for Wild Rivers. They've basically handed control to the, uh, uh, to the Greens. We're going to see uh, our, our fishery industry, they're going to do everything they can to shut it down. They're going to do everything they can to with the wild rivers. It's going to destroy economic opportunity. It's going to have a severe impact on us here. And I think it's up to us to make sure that we hold them accountable for this. Uh, I'll be certainly taking it up to Gillard and the Greens. Um, I, I suspect uh, when they talk about stability, I think it's going to be highly unlikely. You've got a uh, retired spook in Tasmania that's all into conspiracy, so he'll be looking what's what's hiding behind the next shadow, behind the door. You've got a, a Green uh, House of Representatives member now that feels the most important thing in Australia at this point in time is legitimising a gay marriage. I would suggest that if, while, while I have no issue with dealing with those issues and I'm on the record of doing so, I would suggest to you that there are a lot more things that are far more important and more pressing at this point in time. Particularly, hey, it's about the economy, stupid. And so, um, but nevertheless, I think she's going to have, a, have her, uh, Gillard will have her uh, hands full herding cats. Um, it's my intention to make sure, I, I'm not factionally aligned uh, and I have no hesitation. It'll be a very, very different game now. And I can tell you there won't be a day go by that I'll be holding her accountable for decisions that are being made up here. I will be reminding those rural constituents of the impact of the decisions that are going to be made by a green dominated Labor government. We really, quite frankly, we were looking for change. We desperately needed it. When you have a look at the overall uh, scheme of things, the coalition won the election. We won the majority of the seats, we won the primary vote, we won the party preferred vote. And under those circumstances, in my view, we have won the right to govern. And, uh, but nevertheless, these two, two individuals have made a decision to go the other way. They're going to be judged by their own constituency. And I can assure you I'll be doing everything I possibly can to ensure that we don't miss out up here. There, you know, as I said, when I first got elected, far north Queensland and Leichhardt has lost its laryngitis, and I can assure you that'll continue to be the case. Can you see the, the, uh, Parliament working, or do you think it will be dissolved? I, I think, I, like I said, I think it'll be a bit like herding cats. It'll be very interesting when we start to get some of the issues that are going to severely impact on uh, regional and rural Australia and see where, they, where they're going to go when you start to get the Greens starting to push all sorts of, uh, well, you know, their, their, their policies on. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see how they manage that. Uh, I, I don't see that it's going to have a, have a long term. I, I think it's important now that we make sure that the four independents are kept in the chamber every day. Every day I think we need to have them in there making sure that they're defending the government that they've created and hold them accountable for the decisions that are being made. And um, I, what I'm going to do is to make sure that every one of the commitments that we made during that campaign, during our campaign, are held over. Every single one. I'll continue to build on it. I will hope that the, uh, the, uh, the, the stimulus money that has been squandered so far that has caused the deaths of people and the destruction of businesses, I hope that we can contain that as much as we can so that all of those commitments that were made will be fulfilled and I'll be certainly going in there arguing 
But uh, you know, the whole range of things here, from seawalls in the Torres Strait that are destroying uh, communities, down to our sports and cultural precinct, which I believe that people prefer. You know, the Labor Party has made a commitment for 40 million to the precinct. They, on top of that, there was another three and a half million for the for junior rugby league and four million for AFL. I will hold them, hold them to that. And if the people prefer an alternative, which is which is a cultural sporting precinct, they have an obligation to do it because they did say if they were re-elected, they would spend that money. I'll be pushing them for couch. I'll be pushing them also for the uh, establishment of our Institute of Tropical Health and Medicine. And I'll be certainly pushing them for all of the other commitments. And those that I'm not able to pull off now, I will hammer them in government until such time as there is another election. And I'll make sure. Ken's Youth Mentoring Scheme. You know, why in the hell can't that be funded? Aboriginal and Island Zephyr Relief Service, the METSURF. I mean, all of these things need to come back to Cairns and I'll do everything I can to make sure that they do. I can be just as effective out of government as what I would have been in. Will this damage the Labor brand for the next election? They, the, the Labor brand up here is trashed. I mean, I'm just looking forward for the next state election. I mean, what they've done here with Dr Chator, what they've done with the Metsurf, what they've done with public housing, what they've done with this ridiculous situation in the Southern Access, just to name a few. The, the, the Labor brand, you know, they've killed our citizens up here with their ridiculous insulation program. They have destroyed businesses because of the insulation program. Have a look at the Mickey Mouse ideas that they've been talking about trying to deal something with tourism. I mean, it's just, it is trashed. And I think that was clearly, clearly evident when I was the first, it, I was the first one called during the, national, the federal election and I had the largest swing in the country. That's what people think of Labor up here. And that's not me, Warren Lynch. That is all the people that have been affected in this region by the lack of action or the action of the Labor Party. And we've got four sitting state members here that are absolutely responsible as much as the federal member was. And we've got a de facto North Queensland Labor senator that lives in Lynham in Canberra. She better start packing the bags and getting back up here because she also will be held responsible. She is as much responsible as the others. And I think the people up here have certainly expressed their point of view at, on, uh, on the 21st of, of August. I certainly intend to continue to raise their voices, both in the parliament and locally, at, and at, at every level, at local government, at state government and at federal level because I'm the only other voice up here other than the socialist left and by crikeys I'm going to hold them accountable.